Behind me is Damon Siles, one of the most famous abandoned places in all of America. This site is not only famous because of its history, but also because it's been in the Transformers movies and TV shows like Chicago Fire and Shameless. But how did it get here and so popular with this urban exploration? Well, it all started around 1905 and 1906, where Chicago's grain industry started dominating the nation. The railroad company that owned the land around us needed a place for all this grain to be stored, and that solution was Damon Silos. The Chicago fire just happened a few decades ago, and it was a wake-up call. That wake-up call being a grain silo not made out of a material that's flammable, and that material was concrete. So when the Damon silos were built, it was one of the tallest structures of its time with no skyscrapers around Chicago, with the silos themselves being 80 feet tall and the main building being 110 feet tall right next to the ship canal was a sight to see. Once the Damon silos opened, it was put into 100% of workforce and occasionally explosions would happen. Grain dust remained stagnant and trapped in the air of the silo and grain dust has a relatively low flash point. So what happens is when that oxygen mixes and a bunch of heat and just a small spark, it creates your modern day pipe bomb. Only three times that an explosion happened out of the many decades that this grain silo was operating for until the fourth in 1977, which caused it to permanently decommission. The damage was so serious and costly to fix that it didn't help that the agriculture and meatpacking industry just started to leave Chicago completely. And what ended up happening is that the state of Illinois bought all of the property from the railroad company for further development. But little did they know that this property would scare away all prospective buyers just because they didn't know what to build around a canal anymore. Times were changing. The many years of abandonment that ended up happening here did not go unnoticed as urban exploration became popular and slight amounts of graffiti started showing up over time. And then even further fueling this urban exploration was the location scouts. And that was for the Transformers movie as they chose this as an ideal site. And once it was in the Transformers movie, it just fueled the urban exploration even further. There were so many trespassers and people just coming onto the property that the state and city decided this was enough. So what ended up happening is they put up a fence, no trespassing signs, and even assigned a patrol car to come randomly patrol the entire area. And many people have gotten caught, but even more so have not. Many trespassers saw that the real threat was gonna be the police or the security, so it gave them a thrill. But that wasn't really the main problem. The main problem was that this building is extremely dangerous and it was slowly falling apart. Large storms came through the area and a gust of wind would just blow down walls and make things extremely unstable. And I would not doubt that many people have gotten injured here. And finally, in 2022, Matt Asphalt bought all of the property from the state of Illinois for $6.5 million, putting the end to the nightmare of the state. Many have tried to contact the city of Chicago to block the sale because they understand the historical value and that it's one of the original buildings of all of Chicago. But to little avail, the city just did not respond. Permits were filed to the city and state for the demolition of this property, but there was some kind of argument going on, so the federal government has to get involved and so the demolition got pushed back. It's been over 120 years now and Damon Silos is now known as a remnant of a great American industrial power taken over by those who remember it. 